I'm actually in a hotel room and I wanted to take on the boring room challenge. I pretty much use everything that I have in the room. I have a TV and I have a lamp and that's pretty much it. What I brought with me was I have my laptop, HDMI cable and my camera. Even though I have my external lights, I decided not to use them just to keep it all authentic. I wanted to inspire that you can make stunning images using nothing. Just your camera and that's it. So let's get started. I noticed the lamp was a little bit harsh. I got a white plastic bag and I put it on top of it to give it a little bit of diffusion. And uh, I have a, two cups from last night's takeout. And I just decided that I'm gonna use them as a, kind of a, a mini table. Cause I needed the TV as a background. I was uh, getting inspired by how they filmed the Mandalorian. Why not just go back to basics instead of using a green screen, just use it as if it was a projector and do anything you want. I loaded up a graphics in the background that was kind of uh, techy, a little bit of uh, cyberpunky, had really good colors. The tungsten light from the lamp, I know I can manipulate that light to look a little bit warmer and change it to a little bit deep orange red and with the tv i can manipulate that to make it a little bit teal so i'm just gonna play with orange teal orange blues kind of red blues and that's where the vibe that i was going with this initially i wasn't going to use the lens i wanted to use something else but because of the pandemic i just opted for whatever i have just in case of something i just don't want to take any chances this is actually the 55 millimeter Zeiss. It's uh, my first lens that I got with the camera. I'm gonna make a review for that in future video. But if you haven't checked my 24105 review, you can check it up in here. Because I don't have any gimbals, I only have my tripod. So I wanted to move, do some movements and get the shot to look a little bit dynamic. So I got my phone and I loaded uh, a cyan wallpaper and I just moved the phone uh, from side to side to kind of give it a little bit of a glow effect because that's the only light I have other than that I can just maybe can grab another lamp and move it around but I either had the option of using white light or blue light or do a cyan so it's really up to your preference whatever you want to use the one tip that I can give you if if you're having a tripod you can actually mount the tripod on two legs and move the tripod back and forth to get some of these really smooth shots in and out and one thing if you have your tripod that uh, can extend up and down just loosen that a little bit and let that go down slowly and you can get that panning from up to down try and use as many props as you can that complements the item that you're shooting with so i know that i'm shooting a lens and the lens is kind of circular so I thought well my HDMI cable is circular so I wanted to make that frame within my shot to kind of keep that in center so I had that in there and I had my mouth pad so the mouse pad had a little bit of texture so I put that in and uh, of course the backdrop which is the TV just to kind of have something moving because if it was static it can work in some ways, it's up to everybody's preference, but I kind of like to have a little bit of bokeh in the background to kind of stimulate uh, and simulate that it is shot in a studio. So yeah, just go wild, experiment, and have fun with it.